Hey friends. So, something showed up for me this morning that I just wanted to unpack a little bit as I as I talk it through because I realized as I I, was, I kind of had this stroke of insight and then as I, I was kind of right at the beginning of my yoga practice I, and it often happens this way I'll stay just the first moment of centering of the day opens a space and before I know it there's something there there's something showing up for me to um, take in and so but then as I was doing my yoga practice I had a kind of lovely gentle practice this morning and it kept evolving it, it, I sort of kept seeing dimensions to what I was to my original insight and um, it was like it was unpacking itself so uh, what showed up, and this is no surprise, given this kind of in, intense, but in a very positive way, uh, family time that uh, I'm having right now. We have a big family reunion going on. You really want to hear a lot about it? Watch my last, I don't know, five posts. Um, but because I'm because of the kind of being surrounded by this larger family membrane organism, there's a there's a kind of recollection and or a acknowledge an acknowledgement of where some of my own reference points come from. And when I, I got it, my daughter's monitor is not linked. Um, and when I say that, what I mean is, you know, all of us, or at least most of us, unless we manage to have a pretty charmed upbringing, have reference points for our value, for our purpose, for our motivations even. I mean, really kind of fundamental aspects of our life are frequently determined or at least entwined with reference points within our family. And that's not even something you can really like criticize or say that's a bad thing. That's how life works. That's how, if evolution couldn't do that, couldn't capture the information of one generation and transmit it to the next generation, you couldn't have evolution because every generation would be starting over. So this capacity to transmit w a way of thinking that's so so much a system of thinking or s such a web of impulses and 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 decision and decisions and you know just all around mental and physical and emotional habits that couldn't be transmitted we literally human life literally couldn't exist there'd be there'd be no there'd be no continuum in which human life could happen, human evolution could happen. Um, but as we probably also have recognized, there's some pretty major problems there <laughs> because we can inherit all kinds of stuff that we don't necessarily want or that worked for our parents, but not for us, or is great for my brother or my sister, but not for me. There's, there's a million different ways or, or, you know, or other, uh, any relationship in a family, any relationship, you know, or any relationship that manages to create a real deep imprint in us can't, could potentially be problematic. There could be things that, that, that keep us limited, that keep us inhibited keep us from expressing fully and, and kind of fully uh, 
embracing who we are, expressing who we are. And, and so what showed up this morning was that, that kind of like that impression of what I just described, and then a sense of the importance of internal reference points. As we become a conscious human, as we begin to understand ourselves not as an identity situated within a cultural continuum, a family continuum, you know, that's what feels like our identity early in life and early in our psychological, emotional development. We, f we, are, we are a member of this family. We are a member of this tribe. We are, as that, that can expand, we are a member of this country. Little by little, it's like we are a member of this planet. But that's by no means the limit, because we're not ultimately that. Ultimately, we're consciousness. We're something way beyond the planet. And in fact, it's the fact that we are something way beyond the planet that makes it possible to evolve from being essentially completely egocentric, a, a, a unit in ourselves, fused with our environment, fused with our family, fused with our parents and our upbringing, our whole kind of complex of family uh, impulses, the context, and gradually grow our identity to the point where we might feel like we identify as a citizen of the world. Um, beyond that we're we are identified as consciousness we're identified as beings of a of a of a i'm i'm still a human being i still have a family but i'm but within me i have the seed i have the i'm i'm basically an opening my, my whole body, mind, emotional complex is just an opening that allows me to glimpse consciousness. It allows me to glimpse infinity. And, and to get there, I have to at some point really start looking there and taking my cues from there, allowing that reference point which is ultimately always internal my own percept the window through which i see out into the world my own consciousness is always inherently internal to me i'm looking out through the window and and so so deciding and really investing in that reference point that ultimate internal reference point is sort of the key it's that's kind of everything and and i have to let a lot of other shit go i so I, when i look at my family i'm in this big family situation i'm seeing all these people around me i'm perceiving my enmeshment with them i'm identifying certain ways in which each of them have shaped me and or i have shaped them you know, that's all reciprocal, obviously, in a context like this. And, and I'm, I'm seeing all that and kind of going, well, okay, interesting. Now I now I kind of, it's almost like I'm just like getting a little bit of a, of, of a map of my own, of the territory of me. By being like, oh, look, this is, this, this part of me over here on the map is like, kind of related to this relationship with this person in my family oh look down here there's this other thing that's also kind of there and so so that just allows me to understand my own my own map a little more um but what but but and and not that i'm going to dissolve all of that and no longer have the map it's just that by understanding the map now i'm not bound by it now i don't have to live this pattern out if I don't want to 
I can start to choose that and, and more and more I can invest and identify and settle into an internal reference point. The, the ultimate, I can settle into what I'm going to now call, since I thought of it on this post, the ultimate internal reference point. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of what was what was showing up this morning. It's, it was a... It was a... Um, a sense of, wow, this is really... This is really... This is really taking me somewhere. This is really what I would consider a productive use of family time. Because if the purpose of it is to create the kind of magic, create that spark, that capacity for conscious evolution, that's a massive asset. That's a big gift. <laughs> I mean, that's a, you know, that, that's a, how, what could, I don't even, I don't know if I can think of anything more valuable than that. Um, you know, now, I don't, I know that also doesn't always work out that way. You don't always get to have relationships with family members that you, I mean, you can always choose your own relationship to them, but you can't always, you can't always choose the context or somehow, you know, wave a magic wand and have the context all of a sudden be the one that would be most supportive to your evolution. You know, it's, it's a, it's messy <laughs> and it's, uh, kind of have to surrender to whatever is there. But I also think, you know, in, in line with the way I think about almost any influence or any, um, event, we're always getting the right gift at the right time. It's rare that the universe fucks that up and, and gives us like, puts us in a family context or a social context or a life situation that's just not right for us. Thanks universe. You, I, I don't know what this is, but it's not my life, right? We might feel that way, but I don't think the universe gets it wrong that often. So there's a kind of acknowledgement, a, a sort of um, deep listening, which we can really only do from that ultimate internal reference point. From that ultimate internal reference point, from the point of view of I am a window consciousness onto the world all of a sudden a lot of stuff gets clear all of a sudden the, the, the circumstances start to go ding, 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 ding. it's like they a, a hazy chaotic mess kind of starts to align or coalesce into a picture and stuff starts to make more sense and it and for me my experience is that the making sense is a is a degree of liberation from it because i now i can wrap my mind around it now it's not happening to me it's not determining me but i'm actually choosing it or unchoosing it or i'm being comp I, i'm I have, i'm exhibiting compulsive behavior i might be living out a pattern but i can but even if i can't stop it i can observe it i can watch it happen and go well, I don't seem to be able to stop this. It's not my favorite thing. But I also... I am not that. I know that ultimately I'm not that. Just that much of a gap... Is a, is a, is a categorical step. Because knowing the difference between... This is just who I am. And, the, and my patterns are who I am. And knowing my patterns are powerful forces in my life and they drive a lot of my behavior and a lot of my thinking, but I'm not them. Ultimately, I know that I'm not them because I have an ultimate interior reference point and it's not even related to that. It's a, it's a completely categorically different experience, the experience of consciousness itself. That's big deal.
that's a big, big deal. That, that's a step out of compulsiveness into consciousness. And, you know, and it may not dissolve all the patterns. It may not mean that we instantly feel a boundless feeling of liberation and freedom, but it does mean we now have a foothold. It's like having a one foothold, one handhold on, on a climbing wall where the whole, I don't know how I'm going to get up this whole wall, but I've got this to hold on to. That means I'm not falling any further. And now perhaps I can see the next step. I can see the next, the next grip. I can see where I'm, I can maybe see a path, start to see a path. That is a more authentic expression of who I am, a more, a deeper expression of who I am. So, so yeah, that's what showed up this morning. Kind of big stuff. what I got today people thanks for watching I appreciate you I said sending sending good vibes I hope every, I hope that this the one I'm experiencing somehow informs and offers a offers a gift much love see you tomorrow